This is Vigor. We're on the Nintendo Switch, or well, back on the Nintendo Switch. We actually checked out this game in the beta uh, quite a while ago, and now we're back for the full release. So, yeah, it's kind of an interesting game. I consider it a bit of a looter shooter, but they've also evolved the concept a, a bit more in regards to the modes that are present, and we're going to kind of go over them. So, this is our house. In the house, you're actually kind of upgrading this, and you do that over time. Keep in mind, for context, I've played a lot of this on Xbox, and yeah, it's kind of the gist of it. So, we, we got our house here, and what you're doing is, over time, you're actually improving your house through this sort of upgrade system. That's the, the back end of the, you know, the foregrounds of the combat, the background, is that you're bringing in all of these items in order to improve your house. So you got this uh, inventory here. It's kind of interesting. So we've got all these different things. Uh, we're going to move uh, some of this stuff away because we don't need this much ammo for where we're going in a match. Uh, that's just going to cause problems and conflict and stuff like that uh, for our group. But basically, this is your loadout. Uh, there's deconstruct. You can build new items. You can do all kinds of different things in regards to getting new gear in order to use uh, in the match. And you see you just kind of upgrade your house a little bit. And it's just time-based. It takes more and more time as you go along. Kind of a little bit like a free-to-play. So this is the battle pass. Uh, this is where you are able to, you know, it's a battle pass. It's a fairly standard thing these days. Kind of move through it, gaining XP and playing the game. Lots of customization. I didn't really see uh, the stuff I was supposed to get because this is a free-to-play game, but there's like a founder early access to get into it first, and I didn't necessarily see those things kind of come in. They have gestures, weapon skins, and all that, uh, leaderboards. And then they've got the in-game store and some men mementos where you get stuff. So we're going to jump into a couple of matches. So first off, we've got encounters. Uh, you could do this alone or in duos. There's the featured encounter. There's now shootout. So this is more of a, like a combative thing. And then there's elimination, which I want to show off after we do an encounter, because this is like a team-based combative mode, which is newer. So this is the pre-game lobby. I briefly wanted to touch on this. This is where you can sort of uh, protect your influence in the game, you know, find more loot, everything like that, get insurance in case you die, uh, that kind of thing. Just a, a microtransaction element of the game, but we're going to ready up here. So this is an encounter. This is what the main chunk of the game is about. So the goal is to go around. There's, uh, you know, 12 players in this lobby, and again, you can have squads or do solos. And squads are just, well, I guess I should just call it duos. It's just two people. But yeah, the idea is that you're going around in these various encounter areas trying to collect gear and resources and then leave. So it's, it's very interesting because it's one of the few games, or maybe one of the most unique games in the sense that it's the only game I know of where you play, jump in, gather your stuff, and then just leave. <laughs> the, the concept to me is, is very interesting because you go get enough stuff and be like, okay, I'm good with what I have, and, and now I'm out of here. And that's the gist of it. If you do stay around long enough, eventually there'll be an airdrop that falls from the sky and everybody will kind of fight to go and get that. Just keep in mind that permadeath is a thing in this game. And yeah, that's kind of the gist of how that aspect of play works. You're just going around looking for things to scavenge, resources to collect because you want to increase and improve your house. You obviously have uh, different weapon slots in regards to you know your classes and stuff and you can switch between the two. I don't even know why I brought this. It was kind of a bad idea to do that uh, because you could lose it, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. So on the Nintendo Switch, it's uh, it's a bit rough. Uh, visually, it, it looks like muddled soup and well, muddy soup, and it, it's, it's kind of really ugly compared to what I'm, I'm used to on the Xbox. But I mean, that's kind of just going to happen with kind of bringing this game around. I mean, it is the full experience, which is kind of cool. Uh, I think with the, the Joy-Con, you know, it's just a little bit rough for aiming and stuff in the game. It makes uh, something that was a little bit difficult aiming and why it's prior even more tough. And I will say for those that were really kind of mentioning this back in the beta, it looks like they've added in motion controls. So that's kind of cool. Oh no, 
I have died because I was doing motion controls. That was stupid of me, but I wanted to show that off. So we'll jump into another encounter just so I can talk about it a bit more. All right, so we're into another match here. I did get the white screen of death while I was looking at the battle pass, so that's interesting. So I talked about the controls briefly, so the motion control aspect, because I know you know, a lot, of the, a lot of people were asking about that, so that's now included, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, performance and stuff really isn't that great. Now, I, I recall in the beta, and this was a while ago, that it was actually, you know, visual aside, uh, running kind of smoothly to a degree, and it's just kind of like, well, at least for a beta, and it's just kind of weird to see, you know, the, the current state of the experience being like this. How is this guy not dead yet? There we go. So we got to kill. And good thing he had some ammo because, he, yeah, would not have been great to get around and have to deal with no ammo. So yeah, in the game you can kind of hop, you can actually go all down and prone if you want to. A number of interesting mechanics. You can kind of bring up your map. You can create pings if you need to. There's in-game gesturing. And that's just kind of some of the base mechanics. But just, you know, the main part of it is going around, uh, looting, collecting resources. There's a couple of interesting things on the map, too. Certain aspects of it that will assist your survival, such as, like, these calm towers. Uh, there's cool little safes that you can crack into. So there are actually a number of interesting little things that you might be able to find if you're looking around and just discovering things within the game. And I think they do a decent job in regards to the, the concept of the game, doing something a little bit different with the, the shooter idea. And I think it kind of fills a bit of a niche on the Switch in regards to there not really being you know, a whole lot of shooter options on the platform. So that's kind of cool. We're just going to keep going around here. Now, again, I really like this game in regards to its visuals on Xbox. They had a really neat color palette in the game due to where this is set. And it's kind of like really drawn. Like, it's kind of just completely erased almost in terms of the, the color palette or it's just really drag down it's it's not as vibrant as i'm used to and i mean it's just kind of the territory of being on the switch right that's just kind of how it is but uh yeah it, it's not it's pretty average i'd say it's kind of neat i think it fills again that kind of niche aspect of there not being too many shooter options available on the platform and the fact that this is, you know, something that is, is a free-to-play experience, I think it might actually do quite well here. I think it's decent enough in terms of quality that uh, this can be definitely enjoyed. Uh, I think it has some aspects that are fun. I wish the performance was a little bit cleaner, and I wish the gunplay was a little bit tighter. But, I mean, they do give you quite a few options in regards... Did I just die on here on the other map? I'm just totally losing it. Uh... They do give you a good number of options in regards to uh, tweaking the visual, well, not the visuals, but the, the movement settings, the sensitivity of the weapons. They do have a good selection of maps present. I, I definitely have always been impressed by their map selection. It's, it's solid for what this is. And now that there's some extra modes, I, I think that adds a little even more value to what the experience is. And I think it's a good idea at this point to want to head out of the match because I've collected some loot and I want to show off that other mode. So we look on the map, we see, oh look, there is a position we can leave at the top there if we go this way. And then you kind of leave to the exit uh, at the ends of the map. You wait a little bit of time and then you can leave. So you have to wait a little bit of time just in case somebody's chasing you down so you can finish them off. Kind of really plays into the airdrop area because once you get that airdrop that I was talking about earlier, you have to exit with it too. So there's going to be people chasing you down and then they kind of make it a little bit too easy to know where the person is because you kind of just like almost wait and let someone else get it, do all the work and just kill them at the finish line. So that's a little bit, uh, but I mean, that's part of the gamble you take when you're doing this sort of thing. But it, it's just so neat that you can just walk away, you know, and just be like, I got my stuff. I'm, I'm done here. I don't need to fight for the airdrop today. I got the resources I needed, and I'm just going to exit, and I think that is going to start, yeah, okay, there we go. 
so it's rolling. And we can kind of chill out, watch, and make sure nobody's coming, and then we'll be out of here with all the loot and the resources that we collected over the match. So this is what I would call their direct sort of PvP, you know, it's their deathmatch type thing. We're split on teams, and we're battling it out. I did also forget to mention that, uh, you know, I have my face on a bag on the Xbox version, which is kind of hilarious because I was part of the, the launch squad on that one. It's kind of a little bit funny thing that I like to mention whenever I play bigger, and I forgot to do so right off the bat. So yeah, it's just quick round-based action. Yes, I see those guys, but I'm not in a good position to fight back right now. And, and this is just like a good mode for, I guess, practicing your shooting, just doing some PvP actions, just fast-paced combat. I don't think it necessarily fits into what the style of the game is, but it's it's all right for what it is. I mean, it's neat. Usually there's full five-player squads, but I guess we didn't get that many people on this one. And it's just like a series of different little map locations that they've carved out of this area. It, it is a neat addition, though. I think it is something that is, uh, you know, kind of good for increasing the package's value, just adding some different things to it. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. But yeah, the, the gunplay in the game, in my opinion, just really kind of hurts in this. I do like the sense that, uh, you know, there's like a greater emphasis on those bullets mattering and taking you out, but the guns also are kind of like a uh, little, little bit difficult to use, especially more with the Joy-Con. So this is the objective phase. Kind of interesting, but yeah, the timers are just kind of quick. Oh, it's like we got them. And we'll do just, I think, a few rounds just to kind of show off what this is. You get the gist of it. Different loadouts, different weapons all the time. I'd say this is almost like a perfect uh, like kind of learning mode, as to say. Uh, I kind of briefly touched on that. But just for getting a handle on, on the guns before you actually go in and, you know, battle other people, I think that idea is kind of good for this. So, Vigor, it's, it's an interesting game. I think, you know, as a free-to-play, it's kind of definitely worth taking a look at to see if you like it or not. It's definitely got some neat, you know, moments to it. They've added some modes to kind of expand the value. And it's got, like, just that interesting concept of... Oh, we got each other. It looks like that interesting concept of going in, gathering your loot, leaving, maybe fighting for an airdrop. If you don't leave in time from the airdrop, I don't know if I mentioned this, but, like, gas will come in and it'll kind of force you out. But it's just like a very strangely laid back, but you know, obviously intense sort of uh, game in that regard. It almost plays a little bit on the, the battle royale style of gameplay that's popular these days, but I, I think it is a little bit different from that. And it definitely also, I don't know if you might be familiar with DayZ, it's kind of a little bit more of a refined version of that in regards to the game mechanics. Just in the fact that you can like climb things and everything. You know, that's a little bit of what I make that comparison to, because I, I play a lot of DC, right, to cover it. And that's the gist of it, but, oh, jeez. Yeah, the gunplay in this. And again, there's no reason I should have finished that person off. Did I get shot in the back? Oh, yeah, okay. Or did they get me? It's just weird. We'll do one more round, and then we'll kind of call it at that point, because I think that's a good showcase of of what the game is, you know, across the modes. And <laughs> it's just, it, it's the game, you know, it's a, it's a full experience. It just toned down a little bit in terms of the visuals, and it's got some performance hiccups that they could uh, clean up over time, possibly, I suppose. It just, like, uh, it, it's kind of sad seeing, like, the vibrant colors kind of getting washed out and everything on this this iteration of it, which is a little bit of a shame because I actually did really think it had a bit of a, a strong suit with that on the other conversion, but we gotta compare it to what this is by itself also, even though it is a port of something I've seen before. And I think this fits a particular different kind of niche on the platform, you know, being something uh, a little bit different. I'm the only one left, I am so screwed here. Oh, jeez. Oh, they actually, I didn't even get that kill. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's try to get that one last one, wherever they are. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know if they're back here, or maybe they're in the middle of the map. I have a weird situation to be in. Oh, there they are. Let's try and see if I can sneak up on them, but they're pretty far away. There's only like 16 seconds left. My health is also not great, but it's a fairly standard sort of game, you know, the shooting concepts and the gameplay and everything like that. Oh. Just really awkward at times. <laughs> this is just sad. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm out of ammo on that. Uh... Oh, no. 